this video is for grade 12 students. It's trigonometry. It's a question that I'm going to make it look really easy for you. So just watch and see. So here's two questions. One, finding cos 240. The angle here is in degrees. And here, find cotangent 7 pi over 4 and the angle in radians. The thing is, you cannot use a calculator for this because it's all of this are special angle triangles and you're not allowed to use the calculator for this kind of questions. Now, I drew the special angle triangles for you. Also, I show you how to move from degree to radians or change from degree to radians by multiplying by 180 over pi because a lot of students don't like working with radians. Now, let's look at the first one. And the easiest way to do the first one first, you need to find out where this angle is. So 240 is going to be just past 180. So now we need to find the reference angle. And the reference angle will equal 180 or 240. So that's 240 right there. So it'll be 240 minus 180. And therefore, the reference angle is 60. So knowing that, and knowing that the angles in the third quadrant, this is the third quadrant, and the third quadrant, only the tangent is positive, so the cos is going to be negative. So cos 240 is going to be negative because it's in the third quadrant. And then since the reference angle is 60, just go to 60 and find out what cos of 60 is from here. Cos 60 is 1 half. So therefore, the answer is going to be negative 1 half. You don't really need to draw the triangle on, on the, on, on, on the uh, you know, unit circle or anything like that. Just um, that's what you do. Find the reference angle. Since you know the angle is in third quadrant, therefore, only the tangent here, so the cosine should be negative. Therefore, the answer is going to be negative. And then use the reference angle from this triangle to find what the cos of 60 is, and that will be your answer. Now, how about in the second one here? So I think it's a good idea to convert the 7 pi over 4 to degrees by multiplying it by 180 over pi. So the pi's would cancel here. Uh, 4 goes into itself once. It goes into 180, 45 times. 7 times 45 is going to be uh, 30, 315. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw the 315 right here. The 315 is going to be just past the 270. So my terminal arm is going to be here and the triangle is going to be here, but I don't need to draw the triangle and all of that. So since I'm doing cotangent that's related to tan, and only the cosine here is positive. All the students take calculus means only the cos is positive here. So the cotangent has to be negative. So now we know what the sign is of the cotangent 7 pi over 4. The reference angle to 315 is 45, because if you want to go uh, a reference angle would equal 360, because you go all the way to 360 and take away the 315, which is that. OK, 360 minus 315, that's going to be 45. So the reference angle is 45. Then you don't have to draw anything there. Just go to the 45 and find out what the cotangent of 45 is. Cotangent, since the tan is opposite over adjacent, then the cotangent would be the reciprocal, which is adjacent over opposite. It doesn't matter when it's 45 because both of these are going to be the same. So adjacent is 1, and opposite to 45 is 1. So it's going to be 1 over 1, which is 1. So the answer for cotangent 7 pi over 4 is going to be negative 1. And that's basically the simple way of doing it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Keep on supporting my channel. Till next time, bye-bye.